Welcome back to Sports Now. Here's Charles Zeruka. Thank you, Joma, and welcome to Sports News. The first official activity to kickstart preparations for the 2019 Nigerian University Games, Nuga, has been done at the University of Lagos. The Games, which are yet to get a fixed date, next year will be the 26th edition of the championship. At the official signing of the MOU with Nuga, the institution confirmed its commitment to stage a befitting event. Our universities. Management of the University of Lagos and members of the local organizing committee are here for the official signing of the Memorandum of Understanding with Nuga. The chief executive officer of Channels Media Group, Mr. John Momo, is the chairman of the LOC. Just uh, a few days ago when I had some, some members who are members of the LOC who joined us at uh, uh, the Channels Kids Classics at uh, Testim Balogun uh, Stadium, I, I saw the the, the happiness and the, the joy, the zeal in, in the eyes and, and, and the spirits of all those who came to participate in the championship. And, and I tried to transpose that to the Luga Games and I said to myself, we have something great coming. So, so we look forward to a, 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 a very good signing ceremony. I'm very happy to, to, to be sharing this uh, state with uh, every one of you. And I'd like to say welcome to everybody. Thank you very much. Unilag Vice Chancellor Professor Ulua Tui Ogundikpe assures that the university will make the games memorable. The forthcoming university games to be hosted by the University of Lagos will be the mother of all editions. And we want to let you know that Nuga, you have not made any mistake by choosing University of Lagos. It's now time for the main event of the day. And we are confident that the University of Lagos will do just what they have promised us today. The door, if well opened, will be able to harvest the best athletes for Nigerian universities that will now be turned over to the nation because that is one of our mandates. The University of Lagos has inaugurated 14 subcommittees for the Games and we go on break during the event to ensure that over 10,000 athletes and officials are properly accommodated. Now to international football, Super Eagles technical advisor Gernot Rohr is confident his team will survive the harsh weather when they take on South Africa tomorrow. The Nigerian team touched down in Johannesburg last night. And today they had a light warm-up to acclimatize. Nigeria will play Bafana Bafana in an African Cup of Nations qualifier by 2 p.m. And Roar believes the Super Eagles can survive the heat. And that's it on Sports News. It's back to Ijama with the rest of the news at 10. Thanks a lot, Charles. A former senator and two-time presidential special advisor, Florence Itagiwa, has led a defection of notable APC members in Cross River State to the People's Democratic Party. The other defectors, among hundreds of their supporters, include a former ambassador to Mali, Sonny Abang, and one-time federal lawmaker, Senator Patrick Ani, and Honorable Ernest Irik. They were given a rousing welcome in Calabar, the state capital, by the PDP national chairman, Pris Uche Secondus, and the state governor, Ben Ayade, among other PDP leaders in the state. That right have come here today to receive men, a woman of timber and caliber, a woman who cuts across all the states of the country, who played a major role at the center, it was a special advisor to the former president. And after that primaries that took place in Port Harcourt, she called me. And that she had nowhere to go anymore. She must come back home. 
In Zimbabwe, yet another bus accident has claimed the lives of at least 40 people in the Wanda district of the capital, Harare. Police say the bus traveling in the southern region burst into flames as a gas cylinder belonging to a passenger was thought to have exploded. Dozens of others were injured in the Brooklyn Express bus that was reduced to ashes. The accident comes barely two weeks after the death of 50 passengers after two buses collided along the Harare Mutare Road. Now, British Prime Minister Theresa May has appointed Stephen Barclay, a junior health worker and former MP for North Cambridgeshire, as the new Brexit secretary as she seeks to fill in vacancies in her cabinet. Mr. Barclay replaces Dominic. Rab, who quit as Brexit minister on Thursday over a plan for leaving the European Union. The announcement comes after former Home Secretary Amber Rudd was named the New York, New Yorkshire and Pension Secretary, replacing the other one who also resigned for the PM's Brexit plans on Thursday. The 46-year-old banker, Mr. Barclay, has also held the posts of City Minister and Whip at the Treasury and would focus on the domestic preparation for Brexit rather than negotiations. And the main news again. The Nigeria Labour Congress today insisted that Labour will not go back on its demand for a new minimum wage of 30,000 naira. The NLC president, Ayuba Waba, warned that any governor that refuses to pay the proposed wage risks a revolt through the ballot. Also today, religious and traditional leaders brainstormed on ways to finally end the Boko Haram insurgency in the northeast. They recommended proper education of the people as an effective solution. And the Court of Appeal today reduced jail sentences handed down to former governors Jolly Nyame and of Taraba and Joshua Dari of Plateau State by the Federal High Court. And at least 40 people die as gas cylinder reportedly explodes on a passenger bus in Zimbabwe's capital, Harare. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahonyato. Do have a great weekend. Good night. <laughs>